two children were killed and several others were seriously hurt after a car crashed into a child's birthday party. This includes an eight-year-old female and a five-year-old male <clears throat> who are siblings of each other. CBS News Detroit's Terrell Bailey joins us now live near the Swan Boat Club in Berlin Charter Township. Terrell, what do we know so far? <clears throat> Yeah, hey there. Good evening, Kelly. Behind me, this scene overall has gotten a lot quieter within the last hour or so, but it's just an overall unfortunate, simply devastating situation. Even the Monroe County Sheriff uh, at a press conference earlier about an hour and a half, two hours ago, he even got a bit choked up as he rehashed the situation, explaining it to all of the media. But we do know two kids are now dead simply after a car came down this street and crashed into that building directly behind me. This all went down around Around three o'clock this afternoon, Kelly, authorities say a young boy's birthday party turned chaotic. Police believe the driver, a 66 year old woman, was driving intoxicated. We're told in total there's 15 victims. Now, of that, nine people were seriously injured, some of them children, some of them adults. Of the victims that died, they say they were sister and brother, ages eight and five. Police say the driver came down the road and simply went straight into the building, landing about 25 feet inside. That driver is now charged with operating while intoxicated, causing death, and she's sitting in the Monroe County Jail. Authorities say additional charges are overall likely. A total of three children and six adults were transported. Several others were transported by private vehicle to local hospitals. The scene was described by the first responders as is extremely chaotic with high level of emotions of those directly involved and those who witnessed this horrific incident. A horrific incident indeed. Now, according to authorities, that woman arrested may have been at a nearby tavern. That tavern has been shut down by the sheriff's office until a search warrant is held to determine more on who exactly they served at that building earlier today. Now, Kelly, like I said earlier, it's just overall a simply sad and devastating situation. We're hoping to get a status update on those affected individuals within the next coming days. But investigators say they have to continue actually talking to people that were inside of this party because they don't know how many people were actually in the party participating. So, of course, it's just a lot more questions and answers that need to be conducted. But, of course, CBS News Detroit will continue following this story, bringing you those updates as warranted. But for now, we're live in Monroe County. Terrell Bailey, CBS News, Detroit. All right, thanks, Terrell. Thanks for bringing us that information there from the scene.